Hello, Ali. Welcome to by Fujits Blitz, or roughly translated. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now, before we get any hate mail, yes, I know I can't speak German, and yes, I know my accent is terrible, but that's not the point. I gave it a go. Anyway, today we're going to look at the Kampf Panzer 70, the German Tier 9 heavy tank. It's a premium tank, and it's in the stores right now. And boy, this is a really, really tricky tank. It is not for the faint hearted. It's currently in the stores for two packages. For the tank and a slot, you can drop about 10,000 gold. If you then drop another 2,500, you get all the equipment slots on opened. You get the steel camouflage and a blitz avatar. Woo! But what about this tank? Well, here it is. That's the armor. And as you can see, apart from the front of the turret, it is pretty wide open. So here it is up against an IS-8, another tier 9 heavy. And as you can see, the hull is pretty penetrable. Uh, the turret, it needs to be hauled down. The turret's pretty rock solid. It can sort of scrape at a push, but there are still plenty of places to pen. What about it though? Well, the damage output, you'll get 560 on your standard AP. Rate of fire is very low, just under four rounds a minute. Penetration, well, it looks good, 252 millimeters. Armor, it looks average, but it's really in the turret. Speed, not bad. Rotation, yeah, pretty average. Hit points, it has 1,700. Armor, the front of the turret is 200. The hull is 120. The sides and the rear are paper thin. View range, not too bad. Camo profile, well below average. DPM, it's 2,135 a minute, and it's got an obscene reload time of just shy of 16 seconds. Pen, you get 252 on your APCR, and just shy of 340 on your heat. Damage, 560 on your APCR, 480 on your heat, and 640 on your HE. Aim time is pretty high. Suppression is a measly 6 degrees. Speed, you'll get 40 kilometers going forward, 15 going backwards, with an average speed of about 30. Now... The stats look impressive. It is, however, a very, very tricky tank. And the reason it is tricky is because it doesn't always pen. The reload is monstrously long, even though it was buffed. I mean, when this tank first came out, boy, did people struggle in it. I mean, it was absolutely so difficult to play that anybody who was a newish player would have been an absolute fool to get this thing because you need to be able to play this tank it's a beautiful looking tank and if you know if you're a good player the gameplay you'll love it you can churn out a shed load of damage but this tank is really not for the faint-hearted as you can see there it's going to struggle to pen that st1 but then again most things will struggle to pen the st1 so i have to load the heat and give it my best shot to try and get it through that hatch, which I managed to do. But then the next three shots, well, they do not pen because they don't go anywhere near the bloody tank. Now, in real life, this tank was a collaboration between the Americans and the Germans. So it's not strictly German engineering, and therein lies the problem. This doesn't have a spectacular gun, accuracy-wise. It churns out a lot of damage for its tier, don't get me wrong, but it's got a, almost a 16 second reload. And if you load the calibrated shells, then obviously it is a 16 second reload. And it's a long time, especially when you're a heavy tank. The other problem with it is the hull is paper thin. The turret, don't get me wrong, it's, it's pretty rock solid, but there are penetrable bits on the top of that turret, and if you get caught out, you're going to get smacked, because it isn't as thick as people think. Now, as I said, when this tank first came out, oh man, it was a nightmare. The pen was atrocious. The reload was atrocious. And it really was not an easy tank to play, despite looking sexy. They buffed it since then. The pen is a bit better, the reload is a bit better, 
But as you can see here, I mean, I can't really push that ST1. Well, I can, because I'm using my hit points, and I know the E100's there to sort of sort me out. So in this game so far, I've only done 1,373 damage. I'm now going to smack the ice floor right at the side for 543. And this is the thing about this tank. Because of its long reload, it is very, very tricky to push on anything in this. And I advise you not to do it. But is the tank worth the gold? Wow. That's a tricky one to answer. It is a relatively nice tank, but as I said, it is not for the faint-hearted. And, and this is where you've got to look at it realistically. Not everybody is going to be good enough to play this tank, I'm afraid. It has the ability to reduce you to tears because it is so difficult to play. When you know how to play it, though, it's not as frustrating as you think. The, the thing is, you cannot roll out in this thing and play it like a massive heavy. You can't really frontline it. You've got to be gentle with it. You've got to remember your armor isn't fantastic on the hull and your reload is massively long. It has got a relatively okay gun accuracy rise, but sniping in this thing? Oh, I wouldn't recommend it. This is more like a second line support heavy. And that's how you've got to consider it. The other thing about this tank, which is where it becomes a tricky tank, like the previous game in the ST where I was where I finally pushed the ST1, you've got to know when to push in this thing push too soon you're gonna get annihilated push too late and you know it's, it's not worth it so you've got to know when to push the other thing you've got to know how to angle it as you see that I mean, I've just bounced 400 from that t34 over there which is nice and it will do that this tank will bounce shots okay I've lost half my hit points now I've bounced another 220 from a tiger 2 that's over in the left hand side now it's time to push. I have still got hit points. I can push now. There are only three of them left. We've got a full team. I can push on the Tiger 2. I can smack him. I'm going to take some hits, but that's the, pro that's the point, guys. You have to know when to use your hit points in this tank. You're not always going to be able to sit at the back and farm. You can do that to begin with, but then you've got to push, and you've got to look at the ways and means around the map to encapsulate your reload which is long to get you to the position you want to be in to smack the enemy this is why the tank is so tricky now we did what 2600 and something damage there bounced 620 took two kills and we get a third class and we're the top tier tank there this is me rolling out on Himmelsdorf now I actually find this tank interesting to play frustrating when it wants to be frustrating and fun when it wants to be fun it's, it's a similar sort of tank to a T49 although in tier 9 and much like the T49 albeit with less speed this is similar in many respects it's got a big gun it will do a lot of damage and it's paper thin on the whole uh, now, okay, this IS-3 is just wide open because he's AFK, so I'll smack one into him. And, you know, you're doing 520 alpha, 530, 540 alpha rolls in this thing, which is beautiful. And when it all aligns and goes right, boy, this is a fun tank. It doesn't always align and it doesn't always go right. I mean, look at that, it's T-28, hello T-28, 640 almost into the front of that T-28. I mean, that is what makes this tank put a smile on your face. What makes you then cry is this massive reload. And you've got to have this massive reload. If you didn't have the long reload, this tank would be OP with the amount of damage it dishes out. I mean, look at this, T-49, boom! Massive roll of HE into his side, set him on fire. He had an extinguisher, unfortunately, I would have done a lot more damage. But this is what you can do in this tank. 
And imagine if you had like, I don't know, a, a 12 second reload. You would be OP. And this tank, to an extent, and I know a lot of people whinge about it, and a lot of people complain about it. I mean, 700 into the front of the T30 there. And yeah, you know, people are right to whinge about it because it can be frustrating. But if you lowered the reload, if you increased the armor, if you did any of that, this would be OP. Clearly, I mean, I've already done 2,544 damage here. I'm now going to smack the, AM, the AMX CDC with the HE. Another 560 odd roll into the front of him. He's gone. 3,213 damage now. Tiger 2, you're next on the agenda. I'm going to push around. I've got my hit points. I have to use them. Now's the time to push. Push the Tiger. Boom. Almost 600 into the front plane. 3,758. Sorry, 3,800 damage now. I've killed nothing. I've just been farming damage off all the tanks. Now there's only one tank left. He's over in the corner. Oh, he's gone. I was never going to get there on time. So that's a game just shy of 4,000 damage. We only get a second class. Look at the credits. So credits are great. And we were the top damage machine in that game. And this is the thing about this tank. I got a second class there for, four, for close to 4,000 damage, which means there are people doing a lot more damage than me. And I capped a base. This is the thing about this tank. If you changed any of it, it would be slightly OP. And as it stands at the moment, I would argue it is balanced, but it's bloody difficult to play. Now watch this. I mean, this is how. This is just beautiful. Hello. Boom, Shaka. Goodbye. That's like a thousand straight into that poor chieftain. And I did say, I, I did apologize afterwards. <laughs> I mean, but wow, what an ammo rack. I mean, and this tank has the ability to do that. It has the ability to do that. Now, I, now I'm going to look at these other tanks and see if I can get any of those. Oh, KV, yeah, look, look at the bounces. You know, bouncing left, right and center. And this tank is beautiful when it decides to be beautiful. Other than that, I mean, when it decides to be a pain in the backside, it's a pain in the backside. And it really, really is. It will frustrate you. It will annoy you. It will make you want to throw things out of the window. It will make you turn around and say, why on earth do I spend any money on this tank whatsoever? Well, it'll also put a smile on your face on occasion. It'll also make you say, wow, I'm so glad I got this tank. So what's the equivalent price? Well, if you 12,000 gold works out to roughly about $35, 29 euros, give or take, and 26 pounds. So this is not a cheap tank, not by any stretch of the imagination. And it is a tank that will make you tear your teeth out. Because, as I say, unless you are relatively good, this is not a tank for you guys. Um, I hate to be elitist in some respects, but if you've you know, hot, you know, got about, I don't know, less than 5,000 barrels and you're below a 45% win rate, save your money, guys, because you will struggle in this thing. It is not an easy tank to play. And you need experience and you need some skill to play it. And that's not saying that those with 45% win rates or less than 5,000 barrels don't have either. Of course they do. But this is a tank that will frustrate you. This is a tank you will not do good in, and this will be a waste of your money. But who am I to tell you what to do? I mean, if you if you want to get it and you're less than 5,000 barrels and you're less than a 45% win rate, fill your boots. But you'll be spending money, you'll get one, maybe two good games out of it, and then the rest of the time you will be cursing this tank, which is a shame because it's a beautiful tank when it works doesn't always work doesn't always pen everything can pen you if you show too much of your hull be careful i personally think it's a lovely tank annoying frustrating but a lovely tank i mean it looks great it's got fantastic damage output but look at that i mean you can just get penned right into the lower plate and you know you can do well in this thing but it does come with that caveat. This tank is not for a new player. This tank is not for the faint-hearted. Be careful, guys. Other than that, it's a great tank. It's not 
an unreasonable price for this thing to be perfectly fine and fair and dandy. There we go, I did 4,000 damage there. Get a nice first class um, and all that jazz. Tricky tank to play. Pretty expensive. Your call. Anyway, that has been the Kampfpanzer 70, the German Tier 9 heavy tank. It's currently in the stores. Oh, by the way, it is a great credit earner. Not an easy tank to get to grips with. I have been Fujit. That has been the Kampf, Argens, the Kampf Panzer 70. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. By all means, comment and all the other stuff below. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It's a nice thing to do. Puts a smile on my face. Makes me happy. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where you can upload them a lot easier. And until the next time, I'll say my usual thing. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.